What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, responds and clowns, undefeated, lightweight, title contender, Frank the Ghost Martin, for saying that he's ready for Devin Haney, he's ready for Shakur Stevenson, he's ready for Javante Tank Davis. And Devin Haney, he responds and he says, he should be ready, he oldest blank. Now, if you don't know, Frank Martin got a late start to his career in the sport of boxing. Uh, and Frank Martin, you know, uh, definitely has tons and tons of talent. But he got a late start to his career in the sport of boxing. And so, you know, uh, these guys that we speak of, like the four kings, they're young. You know what I mean? When you look at, um, not that he's old. He's not old. Well, according to Devin Haney, he's old. But um, they're younger. You know what I mean? Uh, so Frank Martin, you know, uh, is uh, uh, 17 wins, no loss, no draw. 12 wins by way of knockout. Uh, 28 years of age, five foot eight with a 68 inch army. So Frank Martin is the same age as Javante Tank Davis. It's just that he got a late start to his career. Opposed to Devin Haney, who is uh, 29 wins, no losses, no draws. Uh, he is 15 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age. Uh, Shakur Stevenson, undefeated two division world champion, former, former unified super featherweight world champion. Shakur Stevenson is 25 years of age. Uh, you got Tiafimo Lopez, former unified lightweight world champion, now junior welterweight title contender, who is um, now 25 years of age. Then you have Ryan Garcia, who just fought Tank Davis. He's 24 years of age. So they all extremely young. Tank Davis got a, he's 28 years of age, but he's a three division champion. Uh, he held the WBA and the IBF super title at Super Featherweight. He's a three division champion, five time world champion. So Tank Davis, you know, um, is 28. He's the elder out of the four kings. The four kings consist of Devin Haney, Tia Fimo, Ryan Garcia, and Tank Davis. And then you have um, on the outside, as I like to call him, the Wilfredo Benitez, Wilfred Benitez of the four kings, and that's Lomachenko. So you had the the back then you had the four kings, which was Tommy Hearns, Roberto Duran, Sugar Ray Leonard, and uh, uh, um, Marvin Hagler, and then you had Wilfred Benitez, who was just as good as they was and dominated Roberto Duran as well, um, but he doesn't get considered as one of the four kings. So it's odd because Roberto Duran is one in five or one in four. He lost to Leonard. In the rematch, he quit. He got knocked out by Tommy Hearns. He got outboxed by Mal Marvin Hagler, and he got dominated by Wilfred Benitez. But he's known for his other accomplishments, what he did at lightweight, and, what, and then he jumped up and he beat Iran Barkley at middleweight. So that's why Roberto Duran, hands of stone, gets recognized. And he did give Sugar Ray Leonard his first loss of his career. So that's why um, Roberto Duran is considered one of the four kings. But nonetheless, so I look at Lomachenko the same way as uh, 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 Roberto, as Wilfred Benitez, because he lost to Tiafimo Lopez. Uh, he's going to fight Devin Haney May, and I believe he's going to lose to Devin Haney. You know, so he's going to lose two, out uh, two, two. He's going to lose to two out of, out of the four kings. You know what I mean? But he's three division champion, unified champion. You know, he's highly decorated, two time Olympic gold medal. So similar to the, the four kings of yesteryear with Wilfred Benitez. Um, Frank Martin got a late start in his career. Um, Frank Martin, you know, is always viewed as the odd man out, right? Because <clears throat> he started late in his career. He started getting recognized late in his career. And so he's viewed as the odd man out. But he's a very talented fighter. He's just as talented as all of the rest of the fighters. He's not accomplished as the rest of the fighters, and he's older. Uh, he's more well-rounded and fundamentally sound than Ryan Garcia. I think he's more talented as far as just fundamentals goes and his approach to the sport than Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia has raw talent. Ryan Garcia has, and Frank Martin has raw talent, but Ryan Garcia has 
uh, God giving hand speed and power in both hands, but he don't have the fundamentals. He relies solely on those things to get it done. And uh, obviously we saw Tank and Ryan fight and he didn't get it done. So Ryan, he relies on these abilities to be successful. Where Frank Martin is fundamentally sound, he's southpaw. He come from that Derrick James, well-renowned two-time trainer of the year, future Hall of Famer school of boxing. He fights similar to uh, Errol Spence and similar to uh, um, Jamel Charlo, who is three-time junior middleweight world champion and reigning undisputed junior middleweight world champion. So he fights similar to those types of fighters. So, it, when, you know, uh, he's definitely super, uber talented. And, uh, you know, um, he has, you know, uh, uh, fast hands. He's elusive. He's a slick boxer. Total package. You know, uh, we don't know how durable he is. Can he take a punch? We haven't seen him in that situation yet. But how many of them have we seen in that situation? But he's uber talented. So Devin Haney, that when Frank Martin says he's ready for those guys, Devin Haney responds and he says he should be. He old as blank. Now, Devin Haney is fighting Lomachenko, right? May 20th, okay? Um, Las Vegas, Nevada at the um, MGM Grand Garden Arena. I want to say the T-Mobile, but it's at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. So uh, that's a big fight for Devin Haney. And then I think Devin Haney is moving up. Uh, if he don't fight... Uh, um, Tank Davis in his next fight Devin Haney is going to move up He's going to move up to Junior Welterweight 140 pounds uh, He said in a special that he just did um, In an uh, all access type of build up For him and Lomachenko And he said that after this fight I'm going up to 140 uh, He's just subconsciously you know, Out of his subconscious mind He just said I'm moving up So I don't know how much more he's committed To 135 although his father, trainer, manager, Bill Haney, CEO of DHP, Devin Haney Promotions, he stated that they stay in that 135 for the rest of this year. Devin Haney, he seconded that, but I don't know how likely that is, how realistic that is, you know, seeing as though Devin Haney is, um, you know, uh, growing, he's big, you know what I mean, and he's young. So I don't know when we'll see Devin Haney and Frank Martin fight. Uh, Frank Martin, again, He's pretty much, he is who he is. And why I say that is because he's 28. He's not growing much more like Tank. If, if Frank Martin is fighting at 135, he could stay at 135 for quite some time. Although he has a very muscular physique. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of water weight to be lost, you know. But nonetheless, uh, Frank Martin, you know, uh, is committed to the sport. Always working hard, dedicated to the sport, always in the gym. But at 28, if he could still comfortably make 135, that means he'll be able to do it for quite some time. Unlike Devin, who's 24, unlike Ryan, who's 24, and Tia Fimo, who's 25, who just simply outgrowing 135. Frank Martin is not gonna outgrow it, so that means he'll be around at 135, you know, uh, to compete. I don't think Devin uh, is gonna be there. So if Devin and uh, Frank do fight, I think that that's going to take place, you know, um, at 140 pounds. It's going to have to because Devin is, is staying at 135 solely for one more fight. And that's for Tank. If after this Lomachenko fight, he's successful, as I expect him to be. One more fight at 135, he'll stay around for Tank, maybe Shakur. So it's more likely that we could see Frank Martin and Keyshawn Davis like Keyshawn Davis is like Aaron Pryor. You know what I mean? They, they, they on the outside looking in. You know what I mean? Like, not that they don't have the talent. It's just that they get left out of that conversation of Four Kings um, because of the hype around the original Four Kings 2.0. So they get left out of that conversation. They get it's like they they get forgotten in that conversation. So, um, with that said, maybe we Keyshawn Davis has been calling for a fight with Frank Martin. Now he's been putting his bid in heavy and there's reports that uh, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford are gonna do business finally in July. I don't know how realistic that is. Hopefully it comes to fruition and Frank Martin, uh, Keyshawn Davis wants to fight Frank Martin on the undercard. Again, I don't know how realistic that is because Keyshawn Davis fights with top rank ESPN legendary promoter CEO Bob Merrim and Frank Martin is with the PBC and Terrence Crawford is a network promotional free agent. So I don't know how 
eager, uh, uh, you know, top rank will be to do business with the PBC for a Frank Martin, Keyshawn Davis fight on the PBC. And the PBC is going to control that, that card solely. That he, Keyshawn Davis would be the only, there's no reason for PBC to do business with top rank with that situation because Terrence Crawford is a network promotional free agent. So why are you going to put Keyshawn Davis on that card? It don't, don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense competitive wise and for the fans and for the fighters. But as far as top rank goes, I just, I'm hard pressed to see them uh, making that decision to do that. Why? For what? So what do they gain out of it? Nothing. But that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Yeah, my barber got me looking like the wolf man out here, man. While he in the DR enjoying his best life. That's all I got for y'all, man. Peace.